At this moment, I don't really know what I'm going to do this summer. Uh, obviously, I've had a great year here in Memphis. Uh, I really enjoy playing in Europe, uh, but I also enjoy playing in the NBA. So uh, I'm not really focused on that right now. I'm really now just focused on the Final Four and trying to win my team a championship. And um, all that stuff will settle itself later on in the summer. And my last question is, Boston Celtics uh, failed against Bucks in the NBA semifinals, and you were playing there last year. And actually, Celtics fans love you. We saw many tweets on Twitter and everywhere. So how do you feel about that? How do you feel about their love towards you? Uh, man, last year was an amazing year for me. Uh, the fans in Boston showed me a lot of love, and um, I'll always love the city of Boston for that. Uh, they really took me in, and you know, when I first signed there, everybody was kind of confused why we signed this guy, and then at the end of the season, you know, everybody loved me. So um, I'll always have love for the city of Boston and the Celtics organization. And um, unfortunately, they couldn't get it done this year, but. Um, I'm sure they're going to have a regroup this summer and uh, come back next year even stronger. So, uh, wish them the best of luck and um, yeah, I'll always have luck. There. Thank you so much for the interview and good luck with the game. Thank you. Shane, just looking at tomorrow's game, what are you going to need to do in order to get over this, like, you know, very strong, very experienced? Um, just come out and play with a lot of energy, play with a lot of intensity. Uh, defensively, we really have to lock in. Um, they have a lot of guys who can score the basketball. So in order for us to come out here and get the win, we're going to have to come out and really be together as a group. Um, the battle the adversity. There's going to be times in the game where they go on a 7-0 run, an 8-0 run. Um, we can't lose each other in those moments. In those moments, we have to come closer together. And um, just stay focused. And if we do that, I think we have a great chance. And like on the focus side of things, because obviously there's all this talk with the injuries Fenerbahce have, some we know, some we're not certain of. Does that like distract you guys at all? Nah, um, you know, at, at this time of the year, everybody's dealing with stuff here and there. Um, but it's the most important time of the season, so we know their best players are going to come out and play. So um, we're really not focused on who's out there. We're just focused on what we have to do. And uh, as long as we take care of our business, we should be fine.